Yo, what's up guys? It's Scott, me, Baker Turtle here, bringing you another Pokemon Draft League Team Builder video. Uh, this one is uh, for my Week 9 battle versus Steven, coach of the Twin Leaf Town Tauros, my good friend Steven. Uh, him and I go way back, and uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, this is for the BRL, Pokemon Draft League, and like I said, Week 9, going in this, and... Uh, and we're in the later half of the season, I think. Let me see. I think. Let me see. How many weeks are there? Um, BRL. I think there's only 13. Um, yeah, only 13 weeks. So week nine. Um, or was it? No, oh, week 10, actually. What am I thinking? Week 10, guys. Week 10. Uh, yeah, so this one is versus Steven, coach of the Twin Leaf Town. Toros and let me go get my team so here's the team I've decided to bring versus Steven before I go over my team let me just uh, name off what his team is he's got Doug Trio, Conkelder, Inteleon, Rotom, uh, Charizard, Duraludon, Mew, and Shinotic so uh, interesting team, interesting in the fact that he has uh, one, two, three, four, five of my old Pokemon. I used to have Conkeldur, I used to have Inteleon, I used to have Duraludon, I used to have Mew, and I used to have Shinotic. I did a, a whole rearrange of my team. I picked up Clefable, I picked up Orbital, I picked up uh, Gudra, the Blade, and Roselia, all this stuff. I made a bunch of trades um, a couple weeks back, and... Part of it was um, was Steven helping me out. So, uh, looking at his team, though, it lo looks very uh, underwhelming. I have to admit that I think I got the team matchup advantage here uh, versus Steven. So, it's going to be hard for him to um, defeat my team, I think. I've got really good uh, Pokemon versus him. And I decided to go with this team. So, starting off, I've got... Big Brain, the Galarian Darmanitan. I've got Meruem, the Orbital. Cynthia, the Clefable. Uh, Smiley, the Gudra. Enma and Shusui, the Dual Blade. And Robin, the Roselia. So, going through his team, I uh, gotta bring Galarian Darmanitan. Uh, nothing really wants to take an icicle crash from this thing. Uh, you know, he's got. Inteleon that resists. Other than that, everything gets either one hit KO'd or two hit KO'd. And once I whittle down his team enough, then uh, I think I should be able to sweep with this team. Definitely a win condition. Looking at his team also, he doesn't have uh, any hazard removal besides maybe Defog Charizard. I don't know if that's legal. I'd have to check, but I don't think he has any hazard removal. So. Uh, that's why I have um, Metaram here with Sticky Web and Robin over here with Spikes. So I've got Super Power. I'm not going to really be uh, clicking Super Power unless, you know, maybe that Rotom is gone because I don't want that Rotom to get a free switch in. Uh, the Super Power is mainly only for the Duraludon. Um, maybe I should put Earthquake. Yeah, I should probably do Earthquake. That hits uh, more things. And it still hits the Duraludon super effectively. But yeah, for the most part, I'm just going to be U-Turn and then Ice Punch, Ice Cool Crash and all that stuff. So Choice Scarf, just enough speed to outspeed, what is it, uh, Rotom. I think Rotom hits base 91, so 309 max. So I got 310 here. It's going to be faster than a Scarf Rotom. And uh, yeah, so... Next up, I've got Metaram. So I was trying to, I was going through different sets for this. Um, I had Reflect at one point, and uh, I was trying to figure out a way what I can do. I, I mainly, I mean, I don't really, I don't really need this. I just want Sticky Webs up so that um, Darmanitan can put in work. Maybe uh, even Gudra, but for the most part. I got, and he doesn't really have much resists. He has Duraludon and Mew to resist. Uh, Future Sight, I just want to put in a lot of, um, just work with this. U-turn to get out, recover. Um, but yeah, so nothing really major with Metaram here, but yeah. 
Next up, I have Cynthia. So this one, uh, definitely another win condition here. He just has no resists, none to uh, fairy. So that's why I, I don't need flamethrower. I don't need anything else. That's why I got stealth rock here. Um, Calm mind, bloom blast, moonlight, basically KOs his whole team. There's nothing really that can uh, hurt this besides Duraludon. And uh, I can live hits. I can live a hit. That's why I had Reflect at first with Metaram here, but uh, I think I can get... And it doesn't get recovery, so I think I can whittle down that Duraludon uh, enough. And it has poor special defense, so I think with one Calm Mind up, I might be able to KO it or something. I don't know, but yeah. i got to save this for my win condition. Next up, I've got Assault Vest, Gudra with Thunderbolt, Dragon Pulse, Sludge Wave, Surf, Sludge Wave for the Shenotic, Surf for the Doug Trio and Charizard. Um... In case, uh, if if it, if it I'll probably switch this into like Charizard, Rotom, Inteleon, a bunch of his Pokemon. That's why I got Assault Vest here. Um, I have Bold. Why should I have? Hold on. Shouldn't be like that. Yeah, it should be more like that, I think. Um, yeah, because I want to be able to live an Earthquake couple of, in case the trio traps me um but that's why i got surf here for the Doug trio so i can ko it um but yeah so you know what that's fine that's fine uh gooey you know in case like i don't know duraludon or mew or something but um dragon pulse just to hit everything and and thunder uh, thunderbolt for the Inteleon mainly, but I'm going to be mainly clicking Dragon Pulse and Surf. Um, yeah, so next up, I've got another win condition Swords Dance, Shadow Sneak, Sacred Sword for the Duraludon and Shadow Claw. I don't need uh, Steel Coverage versus him. Um, I got special defense here, so I can switch into Duraludon mainly. Duraludon, switch in a Shenotic, switch in. Uh, be able to tank special hits from Mew. Just, you know, just be able to do that. And then uh, hit back with Shadow Sneak, Shadow Claw, Sacred Sword, all that stuff. And then last but not least, I have um, Defensive uh, Roselia. Not fully defensive. I want to still be, be able to take special hits because most of his team is special attackers. Uh, but for that Doug Trio, I do want to not get too hit KO'd by Earthquake. So that's why I've got that much defense. I might put a little bit more. Uh, but with Eviolite, definitely should be able to lift some hits. And uh, that Conkeldur as well. So no knockoff. You know, this is pre-home. So nothing on his team gets knockoff. So that should be fine. I got Leech Seed. Because uh, he's not going to be switching in Shenotic. So Leech Seed to whittle down his team. Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain. I know Duraludon gets kind of like a free switch. But I got Leech Seed for it. And I've also got uh, the Blade to switch into that. But that's the team, guys. Uh, I honestly think maybe... Uh, Clefable can take this win, or Galarian Darmanitan can take this win, but yeah, it should be, um, you know, Steven's no pushover, though, you know, he does have interesting sets, that Rotom is going to be an issue, I think, um, the Charizard is an iffy, I think Duraludon might be the biggest threat on his team, Mew is, eh, but it doesn't get recovery, so that should be fine, but that's the team, guys, so go ahead, leave a like, comment down below, and uh, stay tuned for the battle coming up next.